On today's show, we put the pedal to the metal with Minnesota's outdoor gear guy, the brains behind the beard and the Boundary Water's most colorful camping gear. We discover Dan Cook's passion for sewing and more importantly, his pursuit of life outdoors and off the grid. I don't I come up here to accomplish, I come up here just to be. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Ron is taking a break this week. If you're like me, this warm spring weather kind of has you down in the dumps. Our favorite winter destinations look like this cross-country ski trail. Yuck! Well, there's some good news. We're here to cheer you up today. If you head to northern Minnesota, you'll find plenty of snow and cold. It's the perfect spot for adventure and the perfect spot to meet a most unique Minnesota character. Many internal compasses point due north just as soon as the snow and cold fly. The old Boy Scout motto reads, be prepared, especially when you gear up. Okay to trudge off life's grid. Minnesota's Boundary Waters Wilderness remains open all winter long, although the number of winter visitors plummets like January temps. You have to remember when we're shooting this stuff, I'm not here alone. Photographer Aaron Ochtenberg's along too. Aaron calls his camping gear and all video gear <laughs> a full load. Together, we head west through Poplar and Swamp Lakes. We're headed for Caribou Lake. But none of these trips ever goes as planned. The smell of pungent pine sap coats the woods. That's the issue right there, watch this. What we didn't know is they had ice a week ago. Snow and ice coats and tips the trees the further we go. Finally, we stop. Not getting through. Time to go to option B. Like I said, always be prepared. That's why you have a saw. Toppled trees block the trail, so we need to cut our way in. <laughs> Cue Murphy's Law. Out here, Nobody comes to help. Solutions come from within. So I tie together a patch. A bit of trimming and we get back on track. <laughs> I mean, the trail. That was a little 20 minute delay. Game on. Under heavy skies, we finally hit Swamp Lake. Problem is, wind and impending weather hit us head on. Then deep slush slows us to a near halt. So we make the call. Oh, this 
say time flies. Hiking in, we started to lose our light. All of a sudden it started to rain and freezing rain, so we literally had to put the TV camera down and get shelter up. You can see how much snow came overnight. So today is housekeeping. Resettled and now resituated, our lonely Boundary Waters camp takes shape. Turns out, our isolation won't last long. Minnesota Bound is brought to you by Minnesota's Select GMC Dealers, Ice Force, Connecticut, and by Star Bank. Up in far northern Minnesota, we're finally getting settled into our winter camp. Surprise, though we run into the guy behind all the camping gear. Some folks go so far away hey! just to feel like they're home. That team way across our lonely lake understands. A group of winter trekkers led by this guy. Bonafide Boundary Waters icon. They made it. Dan Cook, an adventurer who tackles life one frozen stride at a time. Dan winter camps. Yeah, we're gonna set up there. He also covets gear, the real reason we made this trip. I observe the equipment and how we use it and stuff like that. I, I like that aspect of it, but I don't dwell on it. Yeah, dwell might not be quite the right word. The tent. <laughs> Obsessed seems like a slightly better choice. We'll rotate a little bit. See, even Dan must admit, he's a gearhead. This is like, Coming home, it's like opening up the candy store. To come here, to be here, and not to be thinking about your gear. Just to settle in, just to relax. It's all the difference in the world. Maybe that's why Dan spends so much time with the pedal to the metal. Well, the trick is, is to get Old pre aligned. But when the weather is at its worst, that's when you know whether or not your equipment is good. Down in the basement shop, Dan and his wife make Minnesota outdoor gear. Dan's been crafting bush packs, canoe covers, gear bags, all sorts of stuff a long, long time. I think one of the advantages that I have over some of the other stuff people out there is I've led trips from backpacking, canoeing, horse pack trips, bicycle trips, ski trips, snowshoe trips. So I've seen a lot of different avenues of camping. All your stuff I've always noticed is very colorful. Yes. And the reason for that is it shows up on the end of the portage. When you lay it down, you can find it. Oh, and there's another reason too. You know, you want to remember your trip. And if pictures are dull and boring, it's hard to show your friends. <laughs> the company, Cook Custom Sewing, iconic in Minnesota's outdoor circles. And the gear coveted by the people who use the stuff. It's great quality stuff and we, you know, we all use it up here. You do that long enough, people just start to know who you are. I suppose that's why Dan never travels alone. People want to be alongside him. 
We value his experience and his expertise. Turns out, we give him something in return, too. But there's something about having done it with your own hands and having someone come up and say, I used your equipment and I had a wonderful experience. Watching your friends use it, that, 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 there's a lot of joy in that. Exactly why we've come to this lake to share in Dan's story and more importantly, his passion. I don't really come up here to accomplish. I come up here just to be. It's like coming home to uh, just a relaxed state of mind. It's letting go. Come up here and let go. Still ahead, we explore life outdoors when temps drop below zero. Closed captioning is brought to you by Borderview Lodge. Dan Cook sews some of Minnesota's very best outdoor gear. Thing is, with this guy, he not only makes it, but he uses it too. In remote winter camp, always expect the unexpected. With maybe one obvious exception. There's nothing that we have to do other than sit and chop wood for hours. Oh, there's always work. Firewood is a real simple winter camp equation. You got to keep working on firewood and, or decide you want to go cold. Easier said than done. In snow, waist deep. It's not stressful. You just go and do it. Payoff, warm nights in cushy shelters. Winter campers call these things hot tents. Lightweight winter setups with portable wood stoves that can keep tent temps as warm as 70 degrees. I've gone to a hot tent. It makes cold nights enjoyable. Thank you, sir. Where you can sit around and and tell stories and embellish and, and really bond with people. Well, these are some of the most tiring trips that we do, but uh, these are moving all the time. You're cutting wood, you're setting up camp, you're taking care of yourself, food and water and all that kind of thing, but it's, uh, it's perfect. You sit and you talk about this trip for, this will come up in 10 years. There's really just not a lot of other times that you get to break away with some of your friends and just be. So telling and so true, this is how we just be. It just, you can let go of the other stuff. It's letting go. Come up here and let go. Well, unless this happens. Gentle. In that case, don't let go. Hold on. I don't know, maybe Pikey? Yep. These adventures are so much fun. Exactly why hardcore campers always get a little bit sad the last night in camp. It seems like the trip always ends the night before. You start reintroducing, okay, what am I gonna do when I get out of here and this, that, and the other thing. Just kind of commit yourself to staying here until, you, until you've left. Wow, this is perfect solitude. It's just beautiful. Coming up, today's Minnesota Bound Classic takes Ron Shera far away from the snow. Fish on in the jungle. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Northland Tracker Boating Centers. Evan Root, the official outboard motor of Minnesota Bound. 
and by Totem Resorts. So a lot of people like to head north to find snow and cold this time of year. That's me. But Ron likes to do something a little different now and then. Today's Minnesota Bound Classic is all about a trip he took south, way south. This is the San Juan River. Wild and remote, yes, but certainly on the map. In Central America, the San Juan is a border river, dividing the countries of Nicaragua and Costa Rica. To adventuring anglers, however, the San Juan is more than a border. At the mouth of the San Juan, tarpon leap in the Atlantic. That was good. In the Nicaraguan rainforest, the backwaters come alive, and rainbow bass strike with a vengeance. No, 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 hang on. They're pulling the boat. And giant bluegills called Mohara willingly await a fly rotter's cast. Oh, he's gorgeous. Today, the river flows wild and free through a land largely untouched and untamed by day or by night. There were on flashing. There's a eye shine. That's a caiman. You go out with a big flashlight, you flash around, you could see their eyes shine from far away. But once you put the flashlight on them, they get like dazzled. They can't see anymore. To prove it, Rosando Espinoza, our guide, said he would capture a caiman with his hands. <laughs> you got it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you got, got it him. again. He's pretty strong. <laughs> Wrong, you huh? want to touch around? Uh, no. No? <laughs> go ahead. Why not? You're good. By day, the San Juan and its waterways seem friendlier. A jungle of bird life, and around every bend, another surprise. This is all our properties. All this is our properties. We have 365 acres. Meet Dr. Alfredo Lopez, a Costa Rican physician, a rainforest naturalist, and the latest entrepreneur to come to the San Juan to build a dream. It's a Camelot in the rainforest, Rio Indio Lodge, majestic and amazing. 77,000 square feet and the headquarters for unmatched adventure. The beauty of this part of Nicaragua is just exceptional. There's uh, the, the forest, the uh, pristine, the wildlife, the fishing. Most of the natives here are known as Rama Indians. They're people that live off the land, off the hunting, off the fishing. Dr. Lopez is also kind to his neighbors. He still carries a medicine bag and makes house calls when necessary. Hola, como esta? This is a native Rama family we're visiting today. Respireme profundo, mira. He had a bad cold about a couple of weeks ago. He's doing great. This is uh, some uh, vitamins just to make sure, and just give her one every day. Muchas gracias. <laughs> I have a feeling Ron will continue to assign me to go north so he can go south. Just a gut feeling. Well, that about does it for us today. Both Ron and Raven are back next week. In the meantime, don't forget to introduce a kid to the great outdoors. Transportation provided by Premier Transportation. Call 1-800. 899-7433. To get more Minnesota Bound, including full episodes, go to mnbound.com. 
and to follow our latest adventures, like us on Facebook.